Ready for a morning stroll to pick some wildflowers? <laughs> I started out with a basket, but it was already hot and dry. So I went back and traded in the basket for a glass of water instead. Hmm. Both areas in the making, but not quite ready. Some flowers on them. Going to be lots of blackberries, but there aren't any yet. The remains of a tree house, which a lizard has now made home. The now dead walnut tree under which I once rescued the dormouse. This isn't exactly the type of place where you stop to smell the roses, but you can certainly stop to admire the view. And anything underfoot. These I think are just gorgeous, look at that. Aren't oh, those beautiful, look at that. We'll pick some more of those further up. Here we have flowering sedum and quite a bit of it. But uh, I'm not sure I can climb over that ditch with my <laughs> glass of water and the camera. So we'll see if we find some later. There goes my water. Oh, crap. Okay, so I dropped my glass of water that I was carrying around for the plants, but I did find a little stream. Oh, let's see. Oh no, it's really deep and I've got white pants on. How am I ever going to manage to do this? Okay, here goes. Flowers oblige. My shoe is totally wet. I guess that'll be refreshing. And now for some flowers. I'm gonna try not to spill all the water. to take care not to I don't know which ones are protected and which ones are not so I should probably not be doing this I'm not going to be taking um, many I'll only take a few from uh, from each plant so in, to ensure that we can keep the 
genetic diversity going. Oops. There's only one plant, so I'm not going to pick them. If we find further up the road a whole bunch together, then I'll pick a few. Okay, I'm stopping here for a very particular reason. See all of this? There must have been truffles at the base of this pine tree. And this is no doubt the work of wild boars who completely dug up the tree looking for the truffles. Looks like it was a while ago, it's already caked and dried. How about some of these? Another one that I just haven't seen enough of to want to pick. There were more, I want. A little short for a bouquet anyway. I'll just leave them here to uh, attract bees and pollinate and spread so there will be enough to pick. but I didn't bring clippers. Oh, and here's one I really love. I love these little flowers. The stem is almost as purple as the flowers. It has a kind of purple sheen to it anyway. Okay, let's take some of these. Scat on thistles. What's the story behind that? More of these delicate purple flowers that I can't get enough of. If anyone knows what they are, please let me know. I just hope they're not protected. Ugh. Okay, so of course I spilled the water just as I was getting home. But we'll just fill it up in the fountain. A bouquet of alpine wildflowers and a few plums collected along the way. See you next time! <laughs>